Recently, a tweet went viral over X where the person has mentioned why his father would die soon. He tweeted it while standing in the queue at Ames, Delhi. The reason was the hospital bill. His father had a heart attack and he was taken to the nearest hospital where he was diagnosed with three blockages in artery and heart functioning only 20%. So he brought his father to Ames, Delhi and shared his experience of struggle for appointment and test. In the series of tweet, he also highlighted the fact that he cannot afford a private hospital. It was really a heart-touching message that shows the struggle of middle-class people in India when it comes to getting good treatment for health issues. Such incident also reminds us about the importance of health insurance for ourselves and our family. Hey everyone, time and again I have highlighted the importance of having a good health insurance and now that we are about to enter into 2024, I thought of revisiting this topic. A very important reason why every Indian should have a good health plan is because of increasing lifestyle diseases. There are studies that says Indian suffers from heart disease at least 10 years before the Americans. And the case of sudden cardiac arrest in India are increasing among young Indians due to poor lifestyle that include consumption of alcohol, smoking, poor eating habits, lack of physical activity, and of course, the increasing cases of hypertension. In fact, a new study from ICMR, that is Indian Council of Medical Research, has found that there's a rise in heart attack among young people in 20s and 30s, specifically those people who have recovered from severe cases of COVID-19. Although COVID was primarily related to lung disease, heart can also suffer as it has to work harder to pump blood in your body. In short, a good health insurance is the most important part of our financial planning. It should be prioritized even before you invest your money. Now, selecting the right health insurance is not easy. There are hundreds of health plans out there and they all have lengthy documents with complex terminology which are difficult for a layman to understand. In fact, I'm sure many of you might have already taken a health plan or would have a corporate health plan as part of your job perk. But I've come across many cases where the insurance claim got rejected or the entire claim was not reimbursed and people had to pay a hefty expense out of their own pocket. In most of the cases, it's due to negligence of the person as majority of people don't really understand their own health policy. So in this video, I want to highlight some important factors that you must keep in mind before you shortlist health insurance in 2024. And if you already have a health insurance, then you must ensure that your health plan has these important features that I'm going to discuss in this video. All right, let's get started. To begin with, let me highlight one of the key clause of health insurance companies that a layman can completely miss out. Imagine you have taken a health plan of 10 lakh rupee and you ended up with a medical expense of say 7 lakh rupee. Now, since your medical expense is within your health coverage, you expect to get the reimbursement of your 7 lakh claim. But what if you get just 3 lakh of reimbursement? You'll end up paying 4 lakh rupee from your own pocket. Shocking, isn't it? Well, it is very much possible if you ignore one simple clause while taking the health plan. And the clause is room rent cap. Let me help you understand this in detail. So let's say you got hospitalized for 10 days and the room rent is say 12,000 a night. Basically, you ended up with 1.2 lakh of room rent. And let's say the surgery cost was 3 lakh rupee. And other expense include your medicine, doctor visit, various tests, then ICU charges, etc. That total resulted in a bill of 7 lakh rupee. Now listen to this carefully. What if your health insurance has a room rent cap of 5,000 a night? Here, please note that you ended up taking a room of 12,000 a night. So the difference is 7,000 rupee per night. Now you might think that you just need to pay the additional 7,000 into 10 that is 70,000 rupee out of your own pocket and the rest would be covered by the health insurance. But the catch is that your health claim would be reimbursed in proportion to your room rent cap. In this case, your room rent cap is 5,000 which is your actual room rate of 12,000 a night. Basically, your room rent cap is 41%. So your entire medical bill would be reimbursed in this ratio. So 41% of 7 lakh rupee is 2.91 lakh rupee. I hope you got the catch. In spite of having a health insurance coverage of 10 lakh rupee, you ended up paying nearly 60% of the medical expense out of your own pocket just because you missed one important clause. Now, I don't know how many of you have already taken the health plan, but you have already taken it, then please check the clause in your health plan right away and ensure that you don't have this clause of room rent capping. And if you haven't taken a term plan yet, ensure that you keep this clause in mind before opting for a health plan. 
Apart from this, some important factors that you must keep in mind include no co-payment clause. Now some insurance companies can offer health plan at very low cost that might attract you. But there could be a co-payment clause where you need to pay let's say 10 or 20% of the bill from your own pocket. Now let's say you ended up with a medical expense of 5 lakh rupee but your health plan has a co-payment clause of 20%. Then you will have to pay rupees 1 lakh out of your own pocket. So make sure there is no co-payment clause. Now I know that in spite of all these important factors, the most common question is, Sahil, can you please suggest some best health plans to consider? Well, honestly speaking, there is no best health insurance as it all depends upon individual requirement. But I recently came across a very nice article by Ditto Platform where they have done a subjective assessment to shortlist best health insurance plan in India in 2023. It's a very detailed article where they have mentioned that there are 31 health insurance companies selling more than 100 health insurance policies. But they have done an exhaustive analysis that include insurer rating, then feature rating, affordability and then given a total score. Based on the score, HDFC Argo Optima Secure has got the highest rating followed with Care, uh, Supreme, then Niva Bupa, and so on. You can go through the detail of their selection methodology where they've highlighted various factors like claim settlement ratio, then track record, then solvency ratio, and so on. In fact, they've also given a detailed explanation for each of the products they have shortlisted. You must go through the details. I provided the link in the description. In fact, if you are still confused with your selection for health plan, you can set up a free 30 minute call with Ditto team that can help you select the right health plan and you can also discuss whether your existing health plan is right for your family or not. Ditto is backed by Zerodha and I can personally vouch that it offers honest and 100% spam free insurance advisory for free of cost. I have added the link in the pinned comment. Now friends, before you shortlist a health insurance product, please also have a good look at the track record of the health insurance company. For instance, a young company with a track record of say couple of years could post steal a claim settlement number and offer amazing customer service but it's entirely possible that these numbers may go for a toss as they scale their business. Hence, historical track record is again an important factor. Then another important factor is to check the operational efficiency of the insurance company. Operational efficiency deals with the end-to-end -end process right from filling out the application to making the claim. Ideally, you want a smooth journey not only at the time of buying the health power plan but also during the claim process. You don't want to wait for weeks and months to get your claim settled. Likewise, claim settlement ratio is again a very very important factor. A claim settlement ratio of 90 tells you that the insurance company has settled 90 claims for every 100 claims that they book during the year. In fact, Ditto team has also posted an article on the best health insurance companies in India. In that, HDFC Ergo has got the highest rating that has a claim settlement ratio of 97.55%, network of more than 12,000 hospital, gross return premium of more than 4,000 crore, a track record of more than 20 years. Then you have Care, then Niva Bupa, and so on. Again, you can get all these details about how they did the assessment. And if you are looking for a complete checklist on health plan, please go through their article that include must have features like don't split the bill. Again, we have already covered this. It's the co-payment clause. The next is restriction on room rent. Again, we have already discussed it in detail. Then you have features like your check for disease by sublimit. It basically means that your health plan might have a higher coverage but there could be restriction on specific diseases. Then you must consider pre and post hospitalization charges that include diagnostic tests before you are hospitalized. Then another important feature include your seeking a low waiting period. Again this can be a very important to some of you. So if you have pre existing disease like your diabetes or blood pressure, then it's likely that you will have to wait for a fixed period before your insurer starts covering claim rising out of these complications. This waiting period could be anywhere between two to four years. So if you have any such disease, then ensure that you opt for a health plan that has a lower waiting period. Then some other features include your coverage for daycare treatment, restoration benefit. So basically when you run, make a claim and your covers runs out, Restoration benefit can help you restore your claim. Then some good to have features include bonus in case you don't make a claim, then free health checkup, then your cover for alternate treatment and so on. So kindly go through these details before you shortlist a health plan. Finally, I want to discuss the important question around the corporate health plan. A lot of you watching this video would have already be covered with your employer, 
providing group health plan. Now, first of all, I'm sure many of you would not have any clue about the important features of your health plan. So please go through the details and ensure that it includes the important features that we have discussed recently. Then you might also be wondering, is corporate health insurance good enough for you and your family? Or you should take a separate health plan? Well, corporate health plans are great as they're generally part of your job perks and you don't have to pay any premium. But remember that the moment you quit your job, you lose your health insurance policy. And if anything happens before you get the health coverage from another employer, you will have to bear the cost out of your own pocket. Plus your new health policy will start from scratch with the waiting period for certain disease. And last thing you must know is that the majority of companies don't extend their health insurance once you retire. So imagine in your 60s when you need health cover the most and you don't have any. And if you want to offer a new health plan in your 60s, then the premium would be super high. So it is better not to completely depend upon your employer health plan and better to opt for a separate health plan. I hope this video will give you a good sense of what parameters you should keep in mind before opting for a health plan in 2024. Considering the rising case of health issues, especially among youth, a good health plan for yourself and your family is a must. If you find this video useful, do share it with your friends. And if you have any query, you can comment below or you can set up a free 30 minute call with Ditto team. I provided the link in the description. I'll see you next video. Till then, take care.